When it comes to Hollywood relationships, it is unfortunately too often that high-profile splits make the headlines, and while it may seem like some celebrity relationships are mostly fleeting, there are a few who have defied the odds, and that includes beloved NCIS star Mark Harmon and former Morkinum Mindy star Pam Dauber. Through the highs and lows of fame, starting a family, and bumps along the way, the two are now stronger than ever and one of the most enviable celebrity couples out there. Recently, Mark revealed a shocking secret about their relationship. The It Couple. In the vibrant landscape of Hollywood relationships, each decade unveils its own set of golden couples, and during the 80s, none shone brighter than the dynamic duo of Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber. Back then, they held the coveted title of the It Couple, a status attributed in part to Dauber's leading role in the iconic sitcom Mork and Mindy, which concluded in 1982, followed by her continued success as the star of My Sister Sam. Harmon, on the other hand, solidified his status as one of the most sought-after men in the industry, a fact underscored by his recognition as people's sexiest man alive in 1986. Despite being the focal point of media attention and gracing the covers of numerous magazines, the couple chose to maintain a remarkable degree of privacy concerning their relationship. While the world labeled them the quintessential it couple, and their images adorned the pages of every publication, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber remained notably discreet about the intricacies of their romantic connection. Mark Harmon came into Pam Dauber's life after she'd had a bad love affair here and there. As the saying goes, sometimes you have to kiss a few frogs before finding your prince, and for Pam Dauber, this cliché held a poignant truth, especially considering her journey before meeting her lifelong partner. Prior to finding harmony with Mark Harmon, Dauber navigated through a challenging period in her life. The actress openly acknowledged grappling with emotional struggles, coinciding with a downturn in her career following the conclusion of Mork and Amp Mindy in 1982. Her romantic life during this time was marked by what she described as a bad love affair here and there. Adding to the complexity of her personal challenges, in 1976, Dauber experienced a profound loss. Her only sibling, her sister Leslie, passed away during open-heart surgery at the age of 22. In a 1987 interview with People, Dauber candidly shared glimpses of her personal struggles, including dealing with the aftermath of challenging relationships and grappling with confidence issues, aspects she actively worked on through therapy. Pam Dauber had crafted an extensive list of qualities she sought in a life partner. When queried about whether Mark Harmon embodied those qualities, she responded with a heartfelt affirmation, stating, Well, I guess so. He's fabulous. In Harmon, Dauber discovered a man who embodied all the attributes she had envisioned, including strength, intelligence, independence, sensitivity, sensuousness, warmth, and a sense of humor. On the flip side, Harmon approached his future union with a clear vision. In his Sexiest Man Alive interview with People in 1986, he expressed a commitment to defy conventional expectations, declaring, when I marry, I want it to be everything this town says it can't be, with a subtle nod to the challenges often associated with relationships in the City of Angels. Furthermore, he emphasized, I'm not into catting around, affirming his dedication to a genuine and committed partnership, how they met. In the bustling Hollywood scene of the mid-80s, it's not surprising that the lives of two major stars like Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber would intersect. Their paths crossed during one of those serendipitous chance meetings that often happen when individuals move in similar circles. Despite their hectic schedules, they found themselves at the same party hosted by a mutual friend in March 1986, and from that moment, they became practically inseparable. Reflecting on the beginnings of their connection, Dauber remarked, We were set up, fixed up by a friend, rumored to be Gina Hecht, who thought we might hit it off, and we did. When Mark Harmon decided to ask Pam Dauber out for the first time, he eschewed any form of beating around the bush, 
Recalling that pivotal moment, the former NCIS star recounted the unconventional approach that led to their first date, 37 years ago. A mutual friend eager to play matchmaker proposed setting him up with the Mork and Mindy star through a group date. However, Harmon opted for a more direct route. I said, can I just call? Can I get a number and just cold call? And so I did. I got the number, and I called, and I got an answering machine. And I started to leave a message that said, we don't have to all go out, we could get a cup of coffee or something. And then she was monitoring, and she picked up. We went out that night, and we've been together ever since. Engagement. While Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber adeptly navigated the challenge of keeping their romance discreet despite their individual fame, the behind-the-scenes narrative of their relationship unfolded at an impressive pace. Their initial meeting in March of 1986 paved the way for a swift progression, culminating in their engagement during the summer of the same year, a mere few months into their courtship. Despite the whirlwind nature of their relationship, the couple chose to maintain separate residences for about a year. The turning point came in March 1987 when Pam Dauber, in an interview with People, announced a significant step in their journey. She officially revealed her decision to sell her Hollywood Hills home, marking a symbolic move to join her life with Mark Harmon in Pacific Palisades. Wedding. While Pam Dauber shared more insights about her relationship with Mark Harmon in her revealing March 1987 interview with People, she skillfully managed to keep a significant detail under wraps, their imminent wedding plans. Unbeknownst to the public, the couple was orchestrating a secret wedding, and on March 21, 1987, they exchanged vows in an intimate ceremony attended only by a select circle of close family and friends. This discreet approach reflected their commitment to privacy, a stark contrast to the highly publicized wedding of Bruce Springsteen and Julianne Phillips in 1985, who happened to be close friends of Dauber. Drawing from her own experiences, Dauber expressed a desire to avoid the pitfalls of a highly publicized wedding. Recalling Springsteen and Phillips's nuptials, she revealed, Julianne was in tears almost the entire time. There were helicopters hovering over her parents' house. People were camped out on their front lawns. Granted, we're not talking Springsteen here, but if we choose a big church, everyone will find out about it. All of a sudden, we'll have entertainment tonight out there with microphones. The details of their small and intimate wedding, meticulously planned by the couple, were reported by AP News at the time. The ceremony unfolded in a sentimental location the San Fernando Valley's Harvard School, Harmon's alma mater. Following the celebration, the newlyweds embarked on a honeymoon getaway to Vancouver, marking the beginning of their shared journey as a married couple. In a charming revelation, during a 2019 interview with People, Mark Harmon shed light on a personal touch that symbolized his enduring pride in their marriage. He sported a distinctive band on his ring finger, featuring an eagle head. Explaining his choice, he shared, I wear it or a few others I have because when I'm not shooting, I like to make sure I have something on my ring finger because I'm proud to be married and I'm proud of who I'm married to. Keeping a low profile. While their relationship undoubtedly piqued the interest of both media and fans, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber managed to sustain their marriage with the same discretion that characterized the inception of their connection, largely away from the public eye. Now, boasting over three decades of marital bliss, Harmon attributes their success in maintaining privacy to the natural inclination they shared, coupled with a deliberate avoidance of social media. In a candid revelation to TV Insider in 2017, the actor reflected on their choice to keep a low profile, stating, It's not even a choice. It's who we are. We stay home. A lot. I'm not a Twitter guy or a Facebook guy. Our sons aren't into that either. Pam and I have both made a living in this business. And still, there's a part of that that's just not natural. Harmon's sentiment underscores the couple's commitment to preserving the authenticity of their relationship in an era dominated by social media and constant public scrutiny.
Their deliberate choice to avoid the virtual spotlight has allowed them to nurture a private space, reinforcing the authenticity that has defined their enduring love story. Pam Dauber chose family life over acting full-time. Pam Dauber's successful acting career spanned many years, but when she crossed paths with Mark Harmon and their journey together led to the arrival of their children, she confronted the need to reevaluate her priorities. In a candid revelation to Entertainment Tonight in 2016, Dauber shared her perspective on this pivotal moment in her life, stating, I did everything you can do in this business and then I had children and it's like, I'm not going to chase this fame thing. The actress expressed a desire to refocus her energies and time on her family, particularly her role as a mother. I wanted to drive my kids to school. I wanted to be there for their birthdays and bring cupcakes and donuts and do the school festivals and all that. And I did, Dauber continued. Her commitment to being a hands-on and present mother became a central priority in her life, leading her to make choices that aligned with her values. However, the decision to step back from the limelight for Pam Dauber wasn't solely about creating more time for her children. It also stemmed from a concern about maintaining a healthy balance between her career and marriage. Expressing her reservations, Dauber emphasized, I don't think two people can work all the time in show business and stay married. Mark Harmon acknowledges and appreciates the significant role his wife played on the home front, recognizing that her dedication allowed him to pursue his long-standing role on NCIS. In a 2010 interview with USA Today, Harmon reflected on the trajectory of the show, stating, it's the arc of this show over a number of years, where it started and where it is now. She's been part of all that. He acknowledged the time and effort Dauber invested in managing their household, describing it as a demanding yet crucial role that she executed exceptionally well. Pam Dauber joined Mark Harmon on the set of NCIS. Pam Dauber's acting career has seen notable hiatuses, with a substantial break extending from 2000 to 2014, during which she focused on caring for her husband and sons. Her IMDb page reflects this period of deliberate withdrawal from the industry. However, in a noteworthy comeback in 2021, Dauber made a triumphant return to the screen by joining her husband on the set of the renowned show NCIS. Initially cast for four episodes as Marcy Warren, described as a seasoned investigative journalist who uses her savvy wit and down-to-earth people skills to aid in her tireless pursuit of truth. Dauber's role extended to a remarkable seven episodes in 2021. This marked a significant re-entry into television for Dauber, breaking her prolonged absence with a series of impactful appearances on the long-running series. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Dauber candidly addressed the reasons behind the delayed debut on NCIS. She attributed the timing to the show's extensive duration, having been on the air for what she humorously referred to as a hundred years. Dauber revealed that there were previous invitations from the show, but various factors, such as conflicting schedules or holiday commitments, led her to decline. Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber actively keep their kids out of the limelight. Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber share the joys of parenthood with two sons, Sean, born in 1988, and Ty, born in 1992. While Sean has accumulated a commendable list of acting credits, notably featuring in seven episodes as the younger Leroy Jethro Gibbs on NCIS, according to his IMDb page, and Ty has a writing credit to his name, the brothers have intentionally maintained a lower profile in the public eye. Contrary to the spotlight often associated with Hollywood families, Mark and Pam made a conscious decision to shield their sons from unnecessary scrutiny. The couple prioritized providing their children with a semblance of normalcy, steering clear of the intense media scrutiny that many celebrity families endure. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, Dauber candidly expressed their stance, noting, Notice you don't see us in the magazines. When you're married, that's real life. And to go and plaster your kids? 
I'm sorry. I'm not for that. Pam Dauber holds a unique perspective on sharing her past acting work with her sons, Sean and Ty. In a 2016 revelation, Dauber disclosed that, as of that time, her sons had never watched her act, as she preferred fostering an environment where they could showcase their work to her. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, she expressed her role as simply being their mom, emphasizing that her children were more interested in their own pursuits, stating, They don't care about what I did. They care about what they are doing. They want their parents to care about what they are doing. Mark Harmon, too, has grappled with the impact of fame on parenting. In a poignant revelation to TV Insider in 2017, he shared a heartfelt story. While in the jungles of New Guinea, working on a less-than-stellar movie, he missed witnessing his firstborn child taking his first steps. Harmon underscored the profound realization that no professional commitment is worth sacrificing life's crucial moments, family feud. Amidst the joys and challenges of their early years of marriage, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber faced a significant test of their familial bonds. In the same year they exchanged vows, the couple found themselves navigating a difficult situation as they petitioned for custody of their nephew, Sam Nelson. The familial ties run deep in this story. Sam Nelson, then 12 years old, was the nephew of Mark Harmon through his sister, Kristen Nelson. Kristen, who was once married to singer Ricky Nelson, faced personal struggles, including a divorce in 1982 and the tragic death of Ricky in a plane crash in 1985 at the age of 45. In 1987, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber decided to seek custody of Sam. Concerned about his well-being, they believed that Sam's mother, Kristen, was not fit to care for him. Mark had previously played a pivotal role in convincing Kristen to enter rehab to address her drug dependency, during which time Sam found himself under the care of Mark and Pam. After completing the program, Kristen was met with the unexpected news that custody of her son was being contested. Kristen, reflecting on the challenging time, shared her initial disbelief, wondering, where's the punchline? Mark argued in court that his sister's struggles with mood swings and drug use rendered her unfit to be a responsible parent. The case gained considerable public attention, becoming a highly publicized affair. Despite their efforts to secure Sam's custody, Mark and Pam eventually made the difficult decision to drop the petition. Heroic Acts in addition to his on-screen heroics on NCIS, Mark Harmon has demonstrated remarkable courage in real-life emergencies. Harmon received accolades for his heroic act of rescuing two teenagers from a burning car following a crash on the street where he lived. Despite the praise he received, Harmon humbly credited his wife, Pam Dauber, for the successful intervention. Harmon emphasized that the rescue wouldn't have been possible without Pam's quick thinking and action. When the accident occurred, it was Dauber who promptly went to the scene after hearing commotion outside. According to Harmon, she urged him to take action, prompting him to use a sledgehammer to break the car's glass and pull the teens to safety. In reflecting on the incident, Harmon downplayed any calculated thought process, stating, Either you do or you don't. He acknowledged that the potential danger, including the risk of the car exploding, was not a deterrent in the heat of the moment. Vow renewal. In the midst of a challenging year in 2017, marked by knee surgery and the loss of a close friend, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber found solace and strength in each other. Despite the difficulties, the couple celebrated their 30th anniversary in March of that year, with a heartfelt vow renewal ceremony. Choosing an intimate gathering at their California home, only 20 to 30 people were present to witness the couple's recommitment to each other. The renewal ceremony was deeply personal, with Mark and Pam writing their own vows. According to a source, the emotional exchange of vows moved everyone present, with not a dry eye in the room. Following the ceremony, the couple spent the afternoon together, making it a rare day off for Mark. The decision to renew their vows wasn't solely based on reaching the milestone of three decades together. 
the source revealed that Mark and Pam felt the need for a renewal, considering the challenges they had faced in the recent past. Pam and Mark had felt that they'd been through so much recently, and without each other they might not have gotten through it, the source explained. Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber are reportedly different but complementary. In the intricate tapestry of a lasting marriage, there isn't a one-size-fits-all secret. But for Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber, their enduring connection seems to be rooted in a sense of profound understanding and compatibility. A close friend shared insights with Closer, describing them as a truly solid, no-drama couple who are best friends, harboring deep respect and unwavering devotion for each other. While Mark and Pam may not be identical in personality, their differences contribute to the strength of their relationship. According to the source, Pam is more outgoing, whereas Mark is shy. However, their shared priorities, minimal conflicts, love for tranquility, and a mutual appreciation for hard work and honesty create a foundation of decency and understanding. Highlighting their compatibility, Mark once revealed an instance where their differing tastes actually strengthened their bond. Recounting his decision to take a role in the 1987 movie Summer School, Mark mentioned Pam's advice. Despite his excitement to work with director Carl Reiner, Pam advised against it. Mark explained, We don't generally like the same thing, and that's been healthy for us, actually. And that's all for today's video. Now we want to hear your thoughts. Which part of their love impresses you? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.